up. Reminisce on dangerous summers with just a thug nigga working for drug dealers in neighborhood. Run up out of age of 13, we was gunning and it was fun to see the police running. Niggas disappear when we come and live. Nappy head shorty, you pick it to drink it 40. My niggas is naughty and your niggas is fucking corny. But you left me in the summer of 89. A very good year. Crack cocaine sales rose. And Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? Beamer Fawns once again. And uh, today I'm just going over the N54 manifold install, but I'm going over a couple things that I forgot to go over in the last video. Main thing being, everything you need to unplug. So you gotta unplug the mass airflow sensor. You've gotta unplug your throttle body. You've got to unbolt your throttle body because you guys see this thing right here? This guy is mounted on these two tabs right there. I don't know if you can see them. Those two tabs right there, focus. It mounts on there, but they are always, almost always super rusty, so I just break them off. You can see the first front two tabs right here I broke off, and then I broke the ends of the metal clips off as well. I don't know where they went, but they're somewhere around here. I don't know. So those you have to take off, and if you do not take your throttle body off, you are literally going to be fighting, trying to see underneath it, and it's just not a good time. So take your throttle body off, do that. Take your airbox off, take your um, ram air whatever off. Cabin filter is going to have to come off. I'm probably going to have to take my catch can off. Yes, I know it's venting to atmosphere, and I know some of you are going to give me shit for that. But I had a vacuum leak down there for some reason. I don't know why, but I did. So I just, because I need to get a better adapter situation. So we will address that. Yeah, see, oil's leaking out of there. So I got to seal that better. Ah, so that brings me to the next point. You will need a decent catch can setup for the N54 manifold because on your N54 manifold, there are no, no ports for um, PCV. So you either have to make your own or get a throttle body, the N54 throttle body that has a port that kind of looks like this that you just slide the hose over and then when you give the car gas, when you give it throttle, it pulls vacuum. When you're at idle, it just pulls idle vacuum, which is how these cars are supposed to be. Or you can tap some um, fittings if you want, but I don't recommend doing this because you're just creating more spots for vacuum leaks. So that's the manifold that I bought. Somebody did that. I don't like that they did that, but I'm going to be getting an N54 throttle body and doing it that way. Until then, I'm venting to atmosphere. As long as you are venting somewhere, you will not have any leaks creating. It is when you, for example, cap that off that you would then start getting leaks. So as long as your crankcase is venting either your pressure somewhere, you will be good. I see lots and lots of track setups venting to atmosphere, and they are just fine. The only downside is you will smell a bit of the crankcase gases inside when you have the AC or whatever on. Okay, so that is the PCV out of the way. We've got that out of the way. We've got the throttle body dealt with. Um, the next thing is going to be the dowels for your intake manifold. Now you have these dowels here and they sit just like this and they make the manifold sit, well, this much lower because this manifold sits uh, that much higher and it makes it so that the runners don't line up properly and I will show you that I'll show you better what I mean when I take this manifold off here okay so once you've got all your bolts off you want to be very careful and make sure you've got that plug off throttle body off this plug off this plug off this screw off there's a hose back here that is very hard it's the drain for the PCV so your oil drains back into the oil pan that hose is another hard one to get off make sure that's off make sure this is unclipped from there and then Bob's your uncle 
so I'm gonna pull this off and then I will show you what I mean by the the little ledge that the air gets caught on for the dowels okay so there's actually two more things that I forgot about there's this clip on the back of the intake manifold that you kind of got to wiggle to get it out there's these which are the PCV heater lines which you can just cut because they're useless and they really don't work at all and then there's this which is your drain back to the oil pan from the PCV valve and finally you have this that is connected to the very bottom of your intake manifold this is your EVAP purge uh, solenoid valve Ew, my head gasket is getting all wet um, so yeah those are going to connect right here this is the oil drain which I broke because this never comes off this is the heater line block I guess you could call it where all the heater lines plug into this is your upper PCV from the valve cover map pressure sensor and then down here is where where is it oh yeah your evap um, connects onto here which actually this is how the um, the port on the throttle body from the N54 looks ew look at all of that oil in there and this is exactly why you should add a catch can that is so much oil in there that's not even funny and look that was going right back from the, the PCV valve into the intake this is what your car is sucking in that's crazy yeah so we're gonna go throw the new manifold on and I'll be back Oh, also what I was talking about with the ledge. So basically, the, if you put the manifold on without those dowels, it will sit so it's basically a, um, a bit too high and the air will catch basically on the lip right here where that, I don't know if you can see there's like a line there. It'll have that much of an overhang from this, from the block side and the air gets caught on this ledge. So that's why you need the dowels. All right, so once you've got the manifold installed this is what it should look like i still gotta put my catch can on but i just need to put a hose clamp there and then we're gonna make sure everything runs all good but i didn't even have to use any aftermarket well this is an aftermarket tube but i didn't have to add anything extra this is exactly the same stuff i used with this air box and the old manifold so i basically just Use the stock elbow piece, hose clamped it, then I use this silicone intake boot, hose clamped it. Yes, they're kind of close together, but I had to make sure it was fully seated. Then hose clamped it there, plugged the MAF in, and everything seems to bolt up nicely. So next, I'm going to just put everything back together, start it up, make sure it runs good, and that will be the end of this video. So, we've got the N54 manifold all installed, everything's plugged back up. I forgot to take the startup video, so I will do that now. But basically everything is, is how you guys saw it in the last clip. This is, I'm just, this is one day later. Ignore the coolant light, it's a faulty sensor. And the engine light is because I don't have the EVAP. Um, that little EVAP connection, I don't have that plugged into anything. But it runs smooth. stock intake manifold and how you replace it with a N54 manifold. However, I have a much more in-depth video on how to swap the N54 manifold. It's actually in two parts if you guys check my other YouTube videos. 
So if these are the kind of videos you guys are interested in, um, go check out my uh, other videos on my YouTube channel. And actually, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds like a rod knock, but it's coming from the top of the engine, so one of the next videos here in the near future is going to be probably addressing the top end and trying to figure out how to fix the infamous top end tick from the hydraulic lifters. So, if this kind of content is... God, I hate that noise. But then it goes away when the car is warmed up, so... So I don't think it's rod knock, and it's not... I don't hear it from the bottom, I hear it from the top. But yeah. If this kind of content is what you guys are interested in, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave me some hate, leave me some love. I appreciate it all. So, this has been another video. This video has been more, more or less uninstalling the intake manifold and what you need to do to get the new one installed. But, Beamer Fawns out. Hope everybody has a good day.